uh, had happened to me recently where I, I'm pretty sure this is how it happened, was <laughs> I crashed my car a couple weeks ago. How'd well, you crash it? A couple months ago now. Um, so the 2J, uh, yeah. I hit the limiter in first gear. Okay. I missed the shift point on first to second. I shift my, my, myself on the, on the transmission. Um, it hit the limiter. Freeze plugs came out. Aftermarket freeze plugs or factory freeze plugs? Fresh factory freeze plugs came out. All three of them, three of them, two, one on each side, or, and whatever the other third one was. But water right under the tires, and then right into the wall. So, all happened almost instantly. And I tell you, uh, but the freeze plugs came out, and that's what caused it. But I mean, the head gasket would have went it. The head gasket went, but the right, but the pressure um, came out the freeze plugs. Which Job was, and I uh, have this discussion a lot, and there's. Uh, I got some stuff in beta that I'll be able to sell a guy and it'll keep him from telling a stupid story like that. Hmm. I'm happy I can tell the story at least. Well, the problem is you that's may lose my... your car for a year. Yeah. You know, like, like that's the thing. It's like, okay, I get it. We're going to play this game. We're going to spend a lot of money. We're going to break some stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's not crash it. Let's avoid crashing it. Yeah. And if there's simple things that can be done to avoid crashing it, let's just do those and call that non-negotiable. Because you need safety. You know, like like n nobody puts himself in the car tight enough because you don't have the physical leverage to tighten yourself in the car by yourself. Someone else puts you in the car. Learn that out at Bonneville. When those men put you in the car, your, your, your pelvis is bottomed in the seat. It's so tight. Mm -hmm. But... That way you don't get the the, the um, inertia of movement during the crash. Yeah. Don't they use like a leverage stick or something sure. at some point? Yeah. I feel like I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. but you got to have safety, man. The and and avoidable um, avoidable stuff is. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've seen like a leverage stuff. stick to like tighten yeah, a hold the belt a harness. Yeah. 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 I mean, I always tighten myself in because. But you can't. So yeah. when you put yourself in the car, I take a deep breath. I try. But you. But you've. You've. Um, unfortunately, no matter how much you cinch down on your shoulders, your pelvis isn't tight enough. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the models of how the spinal compression happens on impact, the pelvis needs to be located first. It, that's going to give you the maximum amount of chance of not having damage to your body after a crash. Mm -hmm. So you can't physically tighten your pelvis. You can pull your shoulders down, but your pelvis is loose. Yeah. So, you know, like if it's like... Um, if it was like, hey, if there's one thing you could tell people and they would listen, well, somebody else should put you in the car. If you're going fast, somebody else should put you in the car. Nothing, accept the help, be happy to have it. Somebody else put your belts on. Yeah, I mean, granted, I was going like 150, you know, like. 150 is not slow, man. It's not slow. It's, it's not, not slow. how It's not how fast you're going, it's how fast you stop. Yeah. And if you stop the car quickly, you're gonna you're gonna get hurt or get killed, you know? So it's like, you know, you drag race, and you, there's always a chance you could flip the thing and catch one of the uprights that holds the guardrail in the head, and you'll be dead. But most of the time, you're just going to be ping-ponging off the guardrails, especially if you're blowing freeze plugs out of the thing. Yeah, and 2Js, they're so high up on the engine that the water came out so high. Like, I have a belly pan, but it came out so high yeah. up in the engine bay that yeah. it just, like, shot. We shot a freeze plug out of Geo's car once at a Texas Invitational. I had a 8685 and a two kits. And um, he, I think he was brake boosting it. And it just went right up into all of it. And the head just kind of went, yeah. And the freeze plug popped, f fell out of the back of the engine. Because there's also, you have to like ease into it. If I hand you a five pound dumbbell, you may manage it. But if I throw it at you, it's going to hurt. Yeah. And you can only put so much of a load change in front of components before they... They don't have, you know, uh, the time to manage the stress. So you like blow, the, you know, blow a freeze plug out of it. That's what happened. It drove hard into the limiter and just like so quickly and like hit it a bunch of times that, you Do know. Do you have a MoTeC yet? No. Yeah. I have a uh, Haltech. <clears throat> the MoTeC has now, the limiters, man. But it's not in the car yet. The MoTeC has the limiters. The limiters save you a lot of money. It's on a Pro EFI. Yeah. Still. Yeah, they have funny limiters. It's worked well and i know there's a lot of things that it still does that some other new year ecus apparently aren't still up to the date on with like boost control and stuff i think that if and i don't want to really go down into it 
And yeah, I'll, I mean, I don't need to trash uh, anybody or anything. I don't want to try. I, mean, I don't. I don't care to trash him. It's uh, Jason's not even part of it anymore. For, it's um, if a dude wanted to to not have to have a data logger, and he just wanted it to get built by good technicians, and um, close the hood. Uh, it was an affordable system that would give you that. Yeah. If you needed data, or if you needed something that was um, that made itself available in circles of talent, it wasn't the right system. So, like when you get to messing with systems like the Motec, well, who else is messing with systems like Motec? Oh, the good guys, the best guys. So you immediately get pulled up into a circle of talent. Yeah. You know, like the the I got a couple of kids that I help with Motec stuff, and like, man, they're gonna be so far ahead of me because they're getting a head start. It's just age, you know? It's time. But it, people think that it's intimidating because uh, they, they've been told that it was intimidating or told it was expensive. It's like, no, it's not, it's fine. Hmm. 